good? It's Taja Ray, and this is a Shapri.com exclusive. Um, the first thing I noticed about a guy is his smile, and secondly, his social behavior. Um, you know, within the crowd, there's always one guy who's quiet, not saying much, but when he does talk, it's intriguing, and he usually has a lot to say. And so, that's usually the guy that I go for. Um, you know, once he opens up to me mentally, then I'll start to open up to him. No pun intended. <laughs> My advice would be not to think too hard, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, we react on how you feel and nine times out of ten, every, you know, every encounter that you have with a guy is a learning experience. Everything is aligned the way it is for a specific reason, so just don't overdo it. <laughs> must love family. He must be working towards some goals. That's really one of the main things for me. He must love random adventures. <laughs> Cause I'm so the girl who's like, all right, it's 3 a.m. Let's get on the train. We're going to Far Rockaway. And be like, what? <laughs> but I'm, I like, I like doing random stuff. So he has to be down for the cause. He must communicate his feelings to me, please. You know, I'm, just just tell me whether it's good or bad. Open yourself up to me. Like, tell me how you must, but not least, he has to understand my craft, and he has to understand the responsibility that comes with it, and the fact that. I might be in the studio for a long amount of time. I might be traveling or, you know, just understand that this is what I love to do and, and this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. I'm an incense and candles type of girl. I burn incense, I burn candles, and I just breathe and I talk to the universe you know whatever your higher power is I talk to the universe and just try to channel in on on, on, on everything that's happening around me and I constantly have to remind myself I'll make lists like right out to myself all the wonderful things about myself and all the things that I've been doing right and all the things that have been going right for me. I will write that out to myself. Smile, be beautiful. You have recorded a masterpiece, like, you know? <laughs> so, it, and it works and it helps me to stay sane. This week, I'm most grateful for the individuals who genuinely support me and those who will fly across the country to see my show, those who will buy four or five copies of my album just to support, you know? I've been hearing a lot of that within the past few days, my friends telling me, you know, we're so proud of you. Let us know when it goes on sale. And I'm like, oh, it's free. But it's just good to know that they would they would support me in that way. That's a beautiful thing. This next mixtape, really, I'm just, I'm showcasing my growth as a writer and a producer and a vocalist and essentially as a young woman. Um, you know, since I put my project out two years ago. Um, I want people to hear this record and understand the multiple sides of me, you know, that I love and I laugh and I lie sometimes and I sneak around and I have fun and I cry and I hurt and I struggle and I fail sometimes. 
you know? But most importantly, that I'm trying. It's not easy. There's a lot of preconceived notion what they're expecting me to do or sound like based on who my mother is. And I want people to hear this record and truly be able to make a distinction between who Faith Evans' daughter is and who China Tajere is, the artist, the one who, you know, is in a studio pouring herself into these records. I was, you know, I feel like giving up. I am doing it on my own and I might be able to make a phone call like, hey, uh, I need a record deal. <laughs> But I'm not, I'm not doing that. I want to prove myself. I want someone to hear this record and know that it's my calling. Until next time.